Twas a month before Christmas, and it was time for me to buy some more Jordan almonds. I like to buy them off of Amazon. Five pounds, and it's a pretty good price. They last me a while. I like to eat them while I'm watching TV. And while I'm browsing, what should appear? It's five pounds Twizzlers. Comes in this container. I thought, you know what? Uh, I don't keep them in this container because it's not very good. It's not like it's very airtight, and I don't need them to dry out. I buy the red vine. We buy the red vines maybe once a year in that, uh, you know, the round container with the lid. Well, I took them out of here and I put them in a bag. They're almost all gone because right now I'm filming this before Christmas. I made that order. And like the next day, of course, Amazon package shows up. And you know, <laughs> right? Right? Bring it in the house. What do I do? Go ahead and cut it open. Uh-oh, guess what I did? <laughs> That's not the package. Uh, it was kind of kind of heavy. This is five pounds, and it's about, the, it's about the same shape. I thought it was the same thing. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. You know, when it, when it comes, I don't know. I've never bought this before, so I don't know. This seems like it's going to be... Of course, I, I forgot to look at the label, and it's addressed to my wife. Yeah, it was one of my wife's Christmas presents to me. She ordered it a month ago, and guess who, guess who goofed up and opened it up? So I've kept it like this for a month. Right now, it's only a couple days before Christmas. I'll publish this video, I think, Christmas Eve day. Let me get the label off of here so I don't accidentally show personal information. Is that enough? That's enough. I don't want to squish the box. I know they got it in there. This is not the way I would ship. I, I never use, I do sell some things on eBay, some stuff that I had for a long time in my collection. And I use, I use boxes. I do not use padded envelopes. Of course, they probably can because if it's stored locally, then it's not like it gets handled by a bunch of machinery. It, it probably gets handled all by hand. This is by Jada. It's a large scale. Mm, do they show the scale? Probably 118. Let me see if they show the scale anywhere. We'll look at all the sides. While I'm looking at this side, you can see the front of the mystery machine. The only thing I told my wife, I said, hey, you know what? You know what would be cool is the, I, I'd like to have the Playmobil Scooby-Doo mystery machine. It comes with the figures, I believe. Well, I don't see the scale. If I, if I was here, I went by too fast. But anyways, I actually said, hey, I kind of would like the Playmobil mystery machine. It would be kind of fun for display. I like the Jada stuff. It's pretty neat that they have a lot of them with different uh, Batman, Wonder Woman. They have so many. I can't, I can't list them all. I did see they actually, on Off the Pass, they just showed one where at Target, they had a pretty cool, I think it was a VW bus. I don't remember what it is. But this one right here, see, I have this Ecto-1. It's on, on display over on my left. Pretty cool. It does not come with a figure. Nobody driving, so no figures in there. But man, look at all those pieces. It looks fantastic. And even though I open things up, these kinds of things, you keep them in the box for display because they come in a nice little window display box already. And this one has, uh, this corner is just plastic. They have this cardboard for more like just branding right there, right? But otherwise, this corner is not supported at all and i snagged this right away in the store when they bought it i thought i'm not going to wait because these very easily get messed up i even bought it even though it had some paint rub marks here on the top from the paint on the hmm, <laughs> ecto parts on the top whatever you're going to call it uh anyways oh let's see if it has a license plate there you go there's a zoom in ecto one for the license plate so I'm not disappointed that I got the Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine from Jada instead of Playmobil. That would have been fine as well. Jada, they make some very nice... It's wrong height. Jada, they make some very nice stuff too. So I'm uh, quite happy with that as well. I'll give you a link to that Off the Pegs video I was talking about. And I put all of my Jada videos in one playlist. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. And no, I didn't get in a lot of trouble. Just a little trouble. It was an honest mistake. Bye-bye.